Bill Wennington for Bulls TV, sitting down with the 19th head coach of the Chicago Bulls, Fred Hoiberg. Fred, I don't quite remember a press conference quite this big when the Bulls signed you back in uh, 1999. Yeah, I think it was about three people at that one, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't worry, they didn't have they weren't here for me either. Well, how does it feel to officially be the, the head coach of the Chicago Bulls right now? Well, it, it's a great feeling, Bill. I, I, I'm so thankful for this opportunity, and uh, you know, for Jerry, uh, you know, to uh, to show his trust, uh, Gar, John, uh, you know, Michael, and, and everybody in this organization. Uh, you know, I'm really excited to get started. I'm looking forward to getting this day behind me, and and uh, you know, getting forward to watching some film and and, and talking and meeting with the players, uh, and hopefully going out and having a special year next season. You were very successful as a coach at Ames, and you've always made it a point that you wanted to be an NBA coach. And what made this opportunity the choice for you? Well, I, I think a lot of there's a lot of factors. Uh, you know, first and foremost, uh, you know, just uh, it's a city that uh, I'm comfortable uh, in. It's a, it's a place that I played. You know, the passion uh, of the fans. Uh, you know, the, the whole city rallying behind uh, this team. Uh, you know, the, the fact that, uh, you know, it's got a great roster uh, that I think is, is ready uh, to compete for a championship. And not many college uh, coaches get that opportunity to come to a team that, that is, is a contender. Uh, you know, so a lot of factors played into it, uh, you know, but, uh, but we're certainly excited to get rolling. With that success you had in, at Ames, what do you foresee would be the biggest challenges or differences in the NBA game for you? Well, that's that's the one thing where you know I, I I'm, I'm fortunate to have been around this game for a long time, and, and I spent 15 years, uh, 10 as a player, four in the front office, and one kind of a transition year after my first surgery, uh, you know. And this is something that uh, you know I've been there, I've been in a game, uh, you know, I've played late in games, I've watched a lot of great coaches, uh, played for some great coaches, uh, you know. So it's uh, it's something that you know I'm very comfortable with. We ran an NBA type system uh, at Iowa State as well. Well, touching on that, what are your basic philosophies? Let our help our fans to understand what are your basketball philosophies that you're going to bring to Chicago now. Well, I think a big thing that we had a lot of success success with is our pace of play. You know, we really got out and played fast. Uh, you know, we we, uh, we we led the nation in assists uh, a couple of years ago. We were second in assist to turnover ratio. Uh, you know, we shot a lot of threes. You know, we tried to get our shots at the rim uh, in, in behind the three-point line, uh, and we just tried to play with great spacing. Uh, you know, and, and you know, again, we've uh, you know been pretty uh, good team. Uh, you know, as far as offensive efficiency is concerned, you know, and hopefully we can bring some of those same qualities here to Chicago. Well, things are so different in basketball today that with the analytics and the way things are done, there's much more science involved in it. Back in the day, we went out and we just played as hard as we could, as long as we could. But so much more science is involved in the game. How do you plan to keep your guys prepared to play so that they are playing their best basketball come playoff time? Well, that, that's something that we, uh, you know, we kept very close attention to are, are the analytics. Uh, you know, a lot of that with, you know, shot charts and, you know, where you're going to get your shots, where you're going to give up uh, shots on, on, the, on the other end of the floor. Uh, you know, so that's something that I'm familiar with. Um, you know, it's uh, something that I know you know, these guys take very seriously here in Chicago. Uh, I met Steve, uh, and, you know, he's, he's a guy, uh, you know, that's going to get it done uh, with that. So, you know, for us, yeah, we do take that as a part. But, you know, again, Bill, there's even, you know, eliminating the long two, uh, is, you know, some guys are, are elite shooters at that, uh, at that spot. So a lot of it depends on the individuals and the players. And that's what we're looking uh, forward to, you know, putting together a philosophy after watching, uh, you know, for me, uh, you know, every game from last year. Other than having these great interviews with myself and Chuck Swirsky on Bulls TV, what else excites you or what really excites you about this Bulls roster? Well, that excites me most, uh, you know, first of all. But uh, the thing that excites me about the roster, I think, is the versatility uh, you can play with. You know, you can play big. Uh, you can play smaller lineups. And you, you look at just across the board right now. I mean, you had a matchup in the Houston Golden State Series where you had Terrence Jones playing against... Uh, 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 Green at the five spot, uh, and, uh, Draymond Green, and you know it's you got two six six guys basically six seven uh, playing against each other at the five spot. So you know a lot of it uh, depends, and there's certain lineups uh, out there you can play big, uh, but the versatility is something that really excites me. We got all the little questions away. Now the important ones. You got your family here. You got four children. Your wife. How excited are they to be here in Chicago? Uh, well, they're very excited. My my twins were born here, um, and. Uh, you know, we moved away at a very young age. They they were they were uh, one when when we left here. But uh, you know, it's some place that you know, we've got some familiarity with, and you know that's important. It's close uh, to our home in Iowa, where both sets of grandparents for the kids uh, will be. It's an easy easy drive over on I-80. Uh, you know, for our families to get here, and also for them to go back and see their friends. So you know, it's uh, it's important. You got to have everybody on board. 
uh, when you make a, a big move like this. And you know, our family's very excited. Fred, very excited to have you back here in Chicago. Wish you the best of luck.